at Herne Hill Velodrome today and we're going to ride to the Lee Valley Velodrome in London, two iconic London cycling destinations to show you the merits of riding your bike in the city. Now to take on this challenge, I'm using this the beautiful Ribble Hybrid ALE, something with a little twist because it does use a little motor. And I've chosen Cannondale's Topstone Tiagra as my bike of choice here. And we're going to be using Komoot to plan our route from Herne Hill all the way to Lee Valley. Well, we'd better go on with it really, haven't we? Hang on. Morning, Will. boys. What are you doing here? There was a memo last night. Did you not see it? The boss said, we're going to spice this video up and, and make a race of it. I'm going to use my two legs and you guys are going to use your two bikes and we're going to see who gets to the velodrome first. There is a catch though. The memo clearly stated that you guys have to go via the third most iconic cycling destination in London, the Mall. All right, well, that's not fair because that is so out of the way. To make this fair again, you have to take three different types of public transport. Okay, all right, you're on. Sounds fair? Sounds fair. Three, two, one, go. Oh, he's got a head start. <laughs> oh, got a clip in. And come on, we've got time. Let's go. Let's go. arrived at Herne Hill Station, um, just checking the live tracking here. They're already about to cross the bridge, so they're getting really close to the map. We've got about a 10 minute wait here before we get going up to London Bridge, so I think this could be a tight race. For today's challenge, I've chosen to give myself the best chance of winning as possible by using an e-bike. This is Ribble's Hybrid ALE and it looks like a beautiful sleek hybrid bike but with a difference. It uses an e-bike motion system that's tucked in the rear hub of the wheel. Now that gives me 250 watts of support in three different levels which means you can tune the ride to exactly how you want it to be. It comes with all of the other fittings that you would expect on a commuter bike, including mudguard mounts on the front and rear, a pannier rack to carry all of your goods, and wide tyres. The Ribble Hybrid ALE is going to give me that lick of speed I need to win today's race. Well, James, we've just crossed over Vauxhall Bridge, so which is there. just over there, past the MI5 building. How oh, very exciting! It is. And uh, we're about to go through Parliament Square. Um, beautiful, but notoriously a very difficult place to cycle through. Yeah. So, However, uh, we've got this really cool blue super highway. Can't miss it, can no, you? No. We've just been on CS5, which has brought us down from Herne Hill yes. and then we've ridden that through Vauxhall and now we're on to this one going through Parliament Square. Yeah. Where are we? Well, I think this is quite a famous building here on the left. Uh, Buckingham Palace? Well, we're here. We're, we're at the Mall. Main to the Mall. So the third iconic 
cycling landmark of London. So we've achieved our challenge. Yep. Now it's just time to crack on. But what a journey we had down That's here. pretty good, actually. Yeah. You know, I obviously riding in London is quite an experience anyway. Lots of traffic, but the cycle highways are so good. They're just really well marked out and actually navigating was good. And we saw some great sights as well. Hang on a minute. What's that? Oh, I've got a message from Will. Oh yeah? Yes. Where is he? Hi boys, you can see him at the tube. Um, second mode of transport. Where are you guys at? I think, I think I'm in the lead right here. Here comes my train. Oh, he's on the tube. So, so Elephant Castle. He's quite far along. Yeah. We yes. better actually go there. <laughs> we? we better go. Could there be a more perfect bike to take on the streets of London than Candel's Topstone Tiagra? It is a gravel bike, but it's way more than just that. A gravel bike is actually perfect as a commuting weapon, purely because it's got such great versatile features. The first feature that makes it great as a commuter is the riding position. It gives you a much taller, much more commanding position when you're riding in traffic. And it's also got what Cannondale call their out front geometry, which puts the front wheel further forward than on a normal road bike, meaning it's way more stable. Now with the road surfaces that we have around here, that is definitely a plus point. And then going hand in hand with that geometry, you've got those tires. There's big chunky tires on this bike. They're still fast rolling, but they'll take on the potholes and all of the cracks and everything that the roads can throw at you. With the DNA of a road bike, this bike is definitely fast and nimble. And we'll make sure that today we will come out on top. Oh, a bridge. We were coming by and we just felt like we had to stop, really. Yeah, to... it's not an iconic cycling spot, but it's an iconic spot altogether, it really. It is, isn't it? Oh, hang on. I think... I've got a text! <laughs> Hi, boys. Hopefully you can hear me OK on the boat. I think to level the playing field, you guys should take on another challenge. You keep banging on about how good your commuter bikes are and how they're so versatile. How about you try some off-road on the way to Stratford? Let me know what you think. So we need to hit some off-road before we get to the velodrome. Some off-road? In London. Is that possible? Yes, on the canals. So East London's full of canals. I see the Zurich Tower Bridge. We we're, should we're be able pretty to. pretty close. We can cut up through Limehouse, I would have thought, and onto the Regent's Canal. Cool. Program it in, let's, mate. Let's plot it in. So we're just coming out the Tower Bridge. I've got a sneaky suspicion on the live recording. They're just over there. We've just seen them go by on the boat. We better get going. Yes. <laughs> go, James! <laughs> Captain, if he can put his foot down. 
Right. We go, we're almost there. So literally just there. He's just round the corner. He's, nearby. <laughs> he's coming around the corner. Look, there's, there he is. So there's us. Oh yeah. And he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome. Easy. How did you do that? Uh, we have these bicycles, my friend. We don't have to then rely on other forms of transport to get here. Yeah. We could do it all ourselves. London transport's like the best in the world. Yes. No doubt. But no transport is more efficient than the bicycle. Oh, well, well done, gents. Well done. Well Fair done. And square. I'll give you that. It yes. was a good challenge. It's not bad. Like, you weren't too far behind, yeah, but it was a it, close it was still thing. Second place, first loser and all that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, sorry, Will. It was a good challenge, oh. but here we are. Iconic Lee Valley Velodrome behind us. And that's a, that was a good challenge. It was. And I think the one thing that stands out more than anything else for myself is just how small London becomes when you're on a bike. Definitely. It's just, everything is just so close. It's like all of a sudden, one minute you're like, oh, we're here. Yeah. So good. So I've just been thinking the cost of this trip versus what you can get one of these bikes on the cycle to work scheme. It's really quite impressive. I think within, you know, depending, say you're commuting five days a week, within six months, you could, you know, you could get your money back really. It's really impressive. Easily, yeah. But that does end this challenge and what a challenge it has been. But if you've enjoyed it, then please do like and subscribe to the Cycling Weekly YouTube channel. And if you have any tips for riding in the city, do let us know in the comments section below. And likewise, if you're interested in the route that we took across London, we'll be putting a link to that in the description box underneath this video. But until next time, we'll see you then. I'm off to get a Boris bike. <laughs> <laughs>